Okay, kids, I'm back. For today's Wednesday activities, we're going to work on two sessions, 17 and 18, okay? You're not going to have a lot of work to do don't worry okay it's the same but we're going to work together in two sessions okay because the month is almost over and you're going to rest finally vacations are going to be here okay so for the first activity of notion you go to session 17 okay and i'm going to talk what happens with plants and animals during winter okay i'm going to show you some pictures a display here with images of what happens to plants and animals during winter what do you think happens with the cold and all the cold weather okay here we have a polar bear what happens to plant and animals during winter can you see the picture everything is white we have snow, it's freezing, and we have a polar bear, okay? Then, what do you Some think happens? Some animals happen? sleep during the winter. They need little or no food. They hibernate. Bears hibernate. Some animals find shelter in holes and trees under rocks or leaves, or underground like turtles. Some animals like birds and butterflies go to warmer places where they can find food. Some plants like winterberries survive the winter. Okay, so as you saw in the story, short story, some birds and butterflies migrate to hotter places like the monarch butterflies because they don't like winter. Some animals hibernate like the birds, they sleep during all winter and take shelter, okay? Just of us, like us people, they sleep more, they eat more, they take shelter from the cold weather and the cold wind and, and the snow, okay? Did you see all the snow falling down in the pictures? Yes? Okay, then you go, I'm going to put a, a short story also, okay, about how animals survive, okay? How animals survive. Yesterday was a very cold day. I was glad to get home and be warm. Before going inside, I saw a bird sitting on a tree branch. I felt bad for the bird in the cold. How will it survive the winter? I asked my mom. She said that most animals adapt in different ways when the weather gets too hot or too cold. First, she said that the desert can get extremely hot. The Sonoran Desert is a perfect example. In that desert, there is a toad that goes underground when everything dries out. It can stay underground for up to a year. It only comes out when it rains again. Next, Mom said that alligators adapt differently. They live in rivers. When the water gets too cold, the river freezes. This is not a problem for alligators. They protect themselves in the winter. They stay still until the weather warms up and the river melts. 
Then she told me about the monarch butterflies. They travel from Canada all the way to Mexico to avoid the cold. Mom told me not to worry about wild animals that live outside. Most of them hibernate or protect themselves during extreme weather conditions. Do you know any other animals that do similar things to protect themselves? Okay, this was another story of winter about how animals protect themselves. We saw the example of the toad that it goes underground to stay hot until the winter ends. Then we saw how cockadrills or alligators stay still until the rivers and the lakes melt because they freeze when it's really cold. Then we saw how monarch butterflies migrate, as you know, to hotter places, okay? And you can see a lot of examples how birds hibernate and they go to sleep inside a cave, okay? So, once you see all of these short stories, okay? about how do plants and animals survive during winter, you're going to go to do page on your Notion book. Sorry guys, do page. Just give me a minute. Mm -mm. To page 27 okay here i'm going to show you you're going to go to page 27 this is a page about daily activities before we continue with this daily activities is how you do things in your day when you wake up when it's the middle of the day in the afternoon after you eat and before you go to sleep at night, okay? So, daily activities. I'm going to show you, this is another activity for Notion, some pictures, okay, of the daily routine. Here we have first a girl having breakfast in the morning, like you all do. Then we have a picture of a girl eating her veggies at noon. Then we have a picture of a girl taking a bath. She's getting ready to wear her pajama and to have dinner, okay? So you're going to look for these pictures at session 17 and then you're going to go to the Notion book, page 27, as I told you, and you're going to put it in order, okay? How, Miss Gabby, how am I going to put it in order? Well. You go to page 34, the last page of the book, and here you have some pictures. Here's a girl eating, then here's a girl at her bedroom and at the bed, okay? Three different pictures. Those pictures you're going to cut with your scissors and you're going to order them. You go back to page 27. And you're going to put them where they belong. Here we have three rectangles and one says morning, afternoon, and night. Morning, afternoon, and night. Here you're going to paste the three pictures in order. Morning is when the girl wakes up. Okay, afternoon is when she's eating. Okay, the food that mommy prepared. And at night is when you take a shower, put on your pajamas and go to bed, to sleep, okay? So that's what you're going to do for session 17, okay? I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm going to take a break so you can work on session 18. See you in a minute, guys. Okay, for session 18, it's what do you like about each season? Okay, I'm going to show you some pictures. The first one we have here is spring. You can see at all the flowers, they're playing at the park. Everything is green, the birds are flying. It's a beautiful sunny day at spring. 
what do you like most about spring you can see the picture and talk about it with your family okay then you go to the next picture i love it it's a summer picture look how much fun they're having at the beach wearing their sunglasses playing with beach balls and trying to make sand castles here they are inside a swimming pool okay and mr sun is outside what do you like guys the most about summer mr sun is always outside during summer okay then you go to the next picture that it's fall this one is also one of my favorite seasons look at how the leaves start changing colors they are orange, red, brown, kind of yellow, and they start falling to the ground. Here we can see some orange pumpkins, and the girl and the boy are throwing the leaves up in the sky, playing with them. What do you like the most about fall? Okay. And the last picture, you guess what it is. We already saw spring, summer, fall, and we're missing winter that's right so we have winter an illustration about winter here the girl the boys i mean are playing outside with the snow they're making a snowman and they're wearing winter clothes their hats his scarf some mittens some winter boots and sweater and jackets to protect themselves from the cold okay so you can open those images in your ipad and talk about what do you like the most about each season okay then you're going to go to your notion book and you're going to work on page 28 okay guys you open your book and it's page 28 here look at this there are only some lines right here okay you can see the lines and it says write your name you're going to practice writing your name with several different colors okay use the rainbow colors so you can practice several times writing your name as you know how to write it in every paper or work that you make okay then you go to i'm going to put reading words okay i'm going to show you some flashcards and you're going to repeat after me spring repeat with me spring tree tree Dress. Dress. Flowers. Flowers. Shorts. Shorts. Bird. Bird. Summer. Summer. Pool. Pool. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Swimsuit. Swimsuit. Flip flop. Ball. Sorry. Flip flops. Flip flops. Ball. Ball. Fall. Fall. Pants. Pants. Sweater. Sweater. Pumpkin. Pumpkin leaves leaves acorn acorn winter winter hat hat mittens mittens scarf scarf coat coat boots boots okay you're going to go to that vocabulary words and I know there are a lot, but it's all different vocabulary words for each season, okay? We saw vocabulary words for winter, for fall, 
for summer and for spring, okay? Then you're going to go, again, we're going to review what is your routine, your daily routine, okay? Your schedule, yes? I'm going to put here some pictures, okay? Of what you could wear during the day, okay? For example, when you wake up, you change your pajama and you select the clothes you're going to wear. I'm going to put a t-shirt here and a boy and some pants. Okay, some tennis shoes. Very good. Now I dress him up. Okay. And we can change here the clothing, okay? I'm going to choose, for example, you can put on a jacket, some long sleeve, okay? Or you can put another type of tennis shoes, okay? Yes? You can play that game, okay, at your house with your iPad and you can choose different clothing for the different time of the days, okay? Yes? When you finish with that activities, you go to your printable folder activities and you look for this page. Okay, as you can see, we have different pictures. Here we have some snowflakes and a rectangle. Some umbrellas and rain and a rectangle. Mr. Sun and a rectangle. And some leaves and a rectangle. And then we have the words spring, summer, fall, and winter, and dotted lines. The dotted lines are you, for you to cut those words and paste the words according to the season they belong, okay? Of course, snowflakes is winter, so you're going to paste winter next to the snowflake. Then we have an umbrella, okay, and some raindrops. During spring, it rains a lot, so you're going to paste spring, next to the umbrellas. Then we have Mr. Sun, that is always for summer. So you're going to put summer next to Mr. Sun and these leaves, okay, for fall, because in fall all the leaves comes down, okay? So you're going to work for that in your printable folder activities. Well, these were the activities for today, Wednesday, okay? Tomorrow you have Zoom with Miss Alexa. She's very hopeful to see you all over there and i'll see you on friday guys okay i hope you like the activities for today take care bye love you